Excel now uh, doing some calculation for example a quadratic equation have become very easier using Excel uh, if what you need to do is just to type the formula for Excel whereby in this case I uh, need to put y is equals uh, 5x as one of the example of a quadratic equation 5x uh, plus x squared uh, whereby we have x squared use use of excel uh, in this case you can just come for example if you need a pie chart you can uh, for squared you can just come here you just type 2 and you can highlight this 2 and you go to font and you come you put a superscript and you click ok uh, then uh, you can come here and you put now minus uh, 8 in this case you can see this 8 requires to be normal so you need to go to font and you click you remove tick for superscript then you click ok uh, with this formula now which is y is equals 5x plus x squared minus 8 I need to continue using Excel I need to put the value for x and value for y at the bottom. Uh, with this one, I just require to put uh, the value for x, whereby the coordinates here, we start with the minus 8, uh, we go to minus 7, those are the my coordinates, and they should go up to 3. So just click, highlight both of them, then drag up to reach. Uh, positive 3 that's where you you are through now you just say right up to there now you can just come and drag and drop up to there that is a positive 3 then to now you need to calculate the value for y it is very simple you need to put is equal sign uh, you put 5 because that one you already know then you need to open the bracket and now the value for x because it's 5x here as you can see let's click x off you was there and you close the bracket then you put plus you open the bracket again and you click the value for x which is now x but this one bearing in mind is power of 2 it means in excel you need to put this this uh, shift plus 6 to get that for power then you put 2 close the bracket and you put minus 8 because 8 is just a normal figure you don't require to press any x figure for x then press enter you will get we found a typical in this formula and try to collect it and that is how it will display there just click yes you get the value for this uh, first one which is 16 just click there and autofill to the rest up to the end and get all the answers to the rest what is remaining just yes, require to, uh, to click there to highlight both of this uh, up to there once you highlight uh, those two of them uh, you can hold the uh, control you can hold control to select now the you can hold the control uh, to select now the the figure for the, the other one for the equation there uh, all the all else you just highlight those two of them and just come and you click insert once you click insert you can just come here uh, but bear in mind because this figure is still is part of it you can just highlight you can hold control once you hold control there and just come and click that one there when you click all of them now you can come to scatter graph for this scatter graph that is the the one which is called a bubble or insert scatter graph x and y or bubble chart for me and in this one you can just come here to this one we have others and we have this is for bubbles as you can see we have those kind of bubbles uh, we have this one for that one we have this one among others you can see there are many of them for me i can choose that one there once I choose that one now, you can just come here and drag a little bit there. And now you can put, for example, if I need gradients, you can just put there. 
the gradients and now you can come here you switch to different one that you want there at the top you can see we have variety of them for example you need that one just come ahead of that one just come ahead of that one and we have as you can see we have many of them for example that one there if I need to choose that one there then I click here uh, for y and I put now z equals uh, my equation which is now 5x uh, plus x squared whereby I can just put power of 2 and I put now minus 8 as you can see that's my now equation and that's how simple you can do your quadratic equation in such a scatter graph for that in a very simpler way i hope you have enjoyed a bit uh, for this tutorial continue subscribing to get more tutorials for us thank you and have a blessed time as you watch for more tutorials you keep updated and you get more information about our tutorials and more knowledge will be added unto you. Thank you and enjoy your time.